What's going on everyone, Max Forte again with another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the finest fragrance or the top picks from January 2021. So this is the first in this channel. So basically some people do like weekly rotations. I'm basically gonna show you, I do keep tabs. So these are the fragrances that I wear the most in the month of January 2021. So since we're in the beginning of, or right in the middle of February 2021, so I wanna share with you my top picks from January that I think you guys should definitely know about. These are amazing fragrances that if you guys haven't tried out yet, if you guys haven't you know, tried it, if you haven't heard of them, you really should know about these fragrances. So if you wanna know what they are, stick around. The video's up next. Welcome back to another video, I'm Max Forty. Today we're gonna to talk about my top picks from, from January 2021. Sure, I do keep a spreadsheet on all my fragrances since I'm always testing and trying things and reviewing things for you guys. I do wanna know how often I wear them, what kind of uh, you know feedback I get from them, what kind of compliments I get from them. So it's good to keep tally so that way I keep you guys on the 100, I keep you guys on the information exactly what these fragrances give you or what they may or may not give you, if they're like great releases or not. Needless to say, it is great to keep tabs for myself also so I keep myself organized when I want to you know, convey the message to you guys and what I get out of the fragrances that I'm reviewing or sharing with you guys. So without any further ado, let's hop into the choices, the best fragrances that I wore the most. Now most of these fragrances in the month of January I wore for at least three to four times per week. So whether it was for work, for you know, running errands, for evening wear, casual, these were the ones that I picked up the most. And keep in mind that where I live, New England slash New York area, it's very cold. So we're talking about, you know, low teens to sometimes even below zero Fahrenheit, which is very, very cold when, you, when you're looking at Celsius. So needless to say, these are going to be great for this time of the year. Uh, cozy, warm, uh, elegant, sophisticated, the type of fragrances that I like to wear and share with you guys. So first pick here is going to be this particular fragrance here, which is, in my opinion, the best from the Stronger With You and Pour Money collection. This is Stronger With You Leather. I recently reviewed this for you guys, and it's basically keeping the DNA from this particular collection. You know that ambery, sweet, vanilla, tonka kind of a dry down along with that roasted chestnut kind of a vibe. It's nutty, it's sweet, it's gourmandy. It's really nice, great one with that leather accord, that suede leather accord really made a good release for me. I think right now as it stands, it's my favorite from the line. I do want to try the Stronger With You absolutely. As soon as I can get a hold of that fragrance, I'll be reviewing that, well, first testing, trying it, and then reviewing it with you guys. From what I hear, that fragrance though, from the people that actually told me they tried that fragrance, it's a little bit of a disappointment. The boozy facet with the rum is not as predominant as they would like it to be. But anyway, it remains to be seen. As soon as I can get one, I will definitely review it for you guys. But this is a great one that I wore in January. Stronger With You Leather, definitely my favorite from the Emporer Money, Stronger With You lineup of fragrances, and definitely one that I wore a lot in the month of January 2021. Uh, the next one here is gonna be one that I wore a lot for work. And this is going to be Tom Ford Bol de Jour, guys. Now, Bol de Jour, for those of you who don't know, it's going to be a fragrance that was ported from the private blend into the signature collection, which is something that Tom Ford is doing very regularly now. Uh, the next one that they released into from the private blend into the signature line was uh, Costa Azura. And from what I hear, sometime in the fall this year, they'll be doing the same thing with Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud, which has been recently discontinued from the Oud collection, which they pretty much only kept Oud Wood. So now Tom Ford Tobacco Oud should be releasing in one of these bottles come fall this year. Fingers crossed, that's what I hear from, from the essays and the people in the Tom Ford um, you know, collection line uh, you know, essays that I talk to. So anyway, Bol de Jour is going to be a great fragrance that is more or less like a barbershop with patchouli, vanilla, and mint. The mint here is really predominant. I love the modern take on this fougere slash barbershop feel type of a fragrance. It's got this old world refinement and high quality to it but it's definitely a great one if you want to convey a very professional, elegant, and sophisticated vibe about yourself. When you quote unquote putting your best foot forward, I think this is a great one, definitely featured in my top professional fragrances, one that I wore a lot for meetings, for work, professional environment, this you know first month of 2021. Definitely highly suggest you guys picking up a bottle. If you can't get a bottle, at least get a decan and get a feel for this. This is not gonna be for everyone. Again, it's gonna be more of an old school type of a vibe, but I love the modern twist in this fragrance. Great one, Tom Ford, Bold Azure. Definitely one of my favorites from 2021 thus far. Next up is going to be a leather-based fragrance, which I absolutely love leather fragrances in the cold weather. And we're, since we're still in winter time, there's still another month and a half or so before you know spring rolls around. So this is one that I absolutely love. Reminds me of Bellamy. This is a modern twist on Bellamy from Hermes. 
And of course, the fragrance that I shared with you and spoke very highly about, this is Salvatore Ferragamo Oud Pour Homme or Pour Homme Oud. Now this fragrance here should have been called Leather Pour Homme because it is mostly a leather fragrance. It's got some sweet facets to it. So just like I shared with you guys, Cartier Pasha Parfum last year, which I, I do love because it has that modern, you know, uh, vibe to it, but it also borrow elements from the classic Fougere fragrances. This does the same thing. It has a little bit of a Fougere vibe along with that beautiful leather that I'm talking about. Some spices, some creaminess. It's a little bit animalistic as well. I love this. If you like Bellamy and you miss uh, the vintage formulations of Bellamy and you wanted something a little bit more modern, definitely pick this one up. This is this to me is, is a modern day classic, a masterpiece from Salvatore Ferragamo. Definitely a hidden gem, if you will, that I shared with you guys last year. And a lot of you came back and said, Max, thanks for bringing this up to our attention because it is a really fine fragrance. That's what I would call this, a very refined fragrance. Great for everyday use, for a signature scent. It is actually quite versatile, even though it's got the lather, it's got some you know stronger components. It is actually a fragrance that you can wear every day as a signature scent, as a work scent. Um, it's you know a jack of all trades uh, type of a scent. The next one here, speaking of leather, is another one that I absolutely love from the House of Penhaligons, which I love. I think they're you know class personified in the bottles. And this particular fragrance here, of course, we're talking about how fatty leather, which is essentially a. If you love how fatty, this is going to be a plum and leather infusion. You know how fatty, which is also a tremendous oud type of a fragrance. And what this reminds me, I've shared this with you guys. Last year, I talked about it highly this year so far, and it is one that I really reached out for a lot in January of 2021 because it reminds me of Bond Number no. 9, Andy Warhol. It reminds me of Plan Japonie from Tom Ford. Also discontinued. It's long lasting. It smells really sophisticated. It smells really uh, scrumptious, really delectable with that plum accord. I love this fragrance. I think it's tremendously well done. This is niche in the bot. This is a high quality niche. This is what I expect from niche companies, you know, quality, performance, you know, uniqueness. This has it all, guys. Penhaligon's How Fatty Leather, Eau de Parfum, amazing. Check this out if you can. They're not very cheap, but I'm telling you, it is very worth your time, guys. If you haven't checked this out, definitely consider checking it out. Get a decant, try it. You're not going to disappoint. You're not going to regret it. And last but not least, another one that I absolutely love and wore a lot this past month is a fragrance that I consider to be a great one for professional, you know, encounters, for, you know, occasions that you want to be a little bit dressier. But it's got a lot of great components here that I love. It's got this leathery facet, it's spicy, it has a beautiful vetiver note, which you guys know I love vetiver in my fragrance. It's got cloves, some spices here. Of course, there's oud in here as well. It's really conducive of the colder weather, although it's a little bit versatile as well that you can wear all year round as long as you control the sprayers. I'm talking about from the House of Siage. This is called Dignified. It's got the little jigma thing here to open it up and to spray it. Now this is, smells just heavenly. It's a great scent. You know, my wife loves this fragrance on me. People around me always enjoy when I wear this. I always get positive notices, compliments sometimes, uh, unsolicited compliment, which is great. The House of Siage is a fragrance house that doesn't get much play, much talks here in the fragrance community. And Dignified is one that is my favorite from this collection, from the House of Siage, you know, the, the, the masculine line of fragrances, and one that I highly recommend you guys checking out. It's got everything I love. The performance is great. It pushes really hard. The projection is really good. The longevity is quite good. The Siage is amazing. If you spray your clothes like myself, it's going to last the whole day. It's going to give you a nice scent bubble. Like I said, you're going to be noticed. And the smell, heavenly, guys. Check it out if you haven't. If you haven't heard of this fragrance, definitely worth checking out. You know, the, the 001, the House of Siage 001 is also really good if you like tobacco sweet scents, but I like this one the best. I think that vetiver with the leather, the spices, and of course the oud just blended to perfection. It's got this really classy, sophisticated, and, and manly vibe about the scent. So guys, those are my top picks for January 2021. These five fragrances I wore the most. Of course, I tried a lot of stuff. You know, I'm always trying things to review for you guys, but these five were like my go-tos when it comes to work, when it comes to professional settings, when it came, when it came to like night nightwear. Of course, we're not doing much of uh, you know the social thing right now. It's still you know under the pandemic, but it's getting a little better. And like I said, these are the five fragrances that I wore the most of January 2021. Let me know in the comments which three or five fragrances you guys are reaching out for the most at this point. Maybe you live somewhere where the weather is hot. Maybe you, you live somewhere that the weather is tropical. Maybe you're wearing some warmer uh, weather fragrances. Let me know what they are. I'd love to check them out as we get closer to spring and I'm starting to prepare my top list for the spring 2021. I can't wait to, to hear some of the things you guys are trying. Maybe I'll find something really cool and new that I'll you know find out as well. Guys, thanks so much for your support. As always, if you like this content, this is my first time doing like a, the best of a particular month. So if you guys do enjoy this content, leave me a like, which tells me you guys enjoyed it. 
And if the video hits at least 500 likes, I'll continue to do every month, February, March, so, so on and so forth, giving you guys my top picks for each month. I think it's, it's a cool concept. Again, if you guys like it, please leave it on the like, support the channel, touch the subscriber button for more. Hit the little bell icon so you get videos straight into your feed. As always, guys, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Let me know, again, what you guys are rocking the most, you know, so far in January, now in February. Love to read some of your comments, some of your top picks. And of course, guys, always remember fragrance is an extension of your character. It's an extension of who you are. So be sure to choose your fragrance wisely and wear it well. See you guys again right back here with another video very soon. Take care.